Hello there. I did not know that you'd be so close to me, but you are, and we're doing this. Sorry, I have lip shavings, lip shavings, lip pencil shavings on my leg. <clears throat> I'm always choking in the morning. All right, um, just wanna make sure you're focused. There we are, hello. Oh. So, um, basically this is my makeup for the day. Um, <clears throat> the reason is I'm getting my brows done. So if you ever see this makeup, like full, no mascara, no liner, and no brows, then that is the deal. But I wanted to stop by. I'm just finishing up my lips. I already have on the Dior lip pencil in Brown Fig. Now I'm going to use my Burberry lipstick in number 21, Burberry Kisses, which looks like that. It's a nude, who knew? Uh, so yeah, how are you guys? Um, so I wanted to come on and do, yeah, it's really nude. This whole look is super nude. All right, it's fine. I'll put on a gloss with a little bit of color. This is the Pat McGrath Bronze Temptation, which I have been loving lately. It just adds a little bit of something. There we go. Not so nude. <laughs> All right. Ta-da. So I'm gonna try and get my brows done as early as possible in the day. Happily, my girl is across the street from my job, so I just run over and do that. And then I come back to work, a little bit red, and <clears throat> then I put on mascara. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I decided to come on and do a little quick update. I'm pretty sure I have my final thoughts on these palettes. Um, sorry about that. Um, so I have been using the Pat McGrath, the smaller Mothership palettes. So the other day I used again the Mothership Subversive Metal Morphosis palette and unfortunately it creased so horrifically that it was just like this should not be. Like this really should not be. So it's this guy. Um, I had these two colors. Nope. Yeah it was these two colors on my lid. This guy in my crease. And, um, yeah, it was really bad. First off, people were like, oh, that's purple in your crease? I thought it was gray. I was like, yeah, that's not what I was going for. Like, I was going for the purple. That's what you'd want when you buy a palette with a purple. Um, also, however, that more reddish tone. I'm so glad I shut the palette. That more reddish tone, which is uh, this guy right here. Um, it is beautiful. I mean, it is one of those magical Pat McGrath shifty metallic shades. However, when I say it creased, I've never had creasing like that on any of my shadows ever, ever. And I've been wearing makeup for way too long. So the girl, Oh, there was a girl who I was working with and she complimented me and she was like, that shadow should be all over your body at all times and it would make you look glorious. I was like, thanks. And then she left and I was like, let me take a peek. And it looked really pretty. And then I just happened to blink and I was like, oh, what is that? And then I noticed it was the worst creasing of my life. So I was like, this is terrible. I was gonna go and post a video for you guys. But then I stopped off at Nordstrom's to say hi to a girlfriend of mine. And then of course I wanted to try out the new Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes because I was thinking of buying a couple of them and they turned out to be really bad. Like, oh, such a letdown. Always try before you buy. Um, so I was going to get a couple of those. My girlfriend did one color palette on one eye, one on the other. And it was, it was just not worth $88 a palette. So, especially with those guys, you should try it out to make sure that you like them. Um, <clears throat> so, 
I ended up taking all of those off and I had no creasing evidence to show you, but I did buy some other things. So I will do a video on that. Um, onto this guy. I love the color scheme so much, but again, the creasing was really bad and not as bad as the other one though. The other palette, and I don't switch my shadow primers. I'm not saying that the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer is the end-all be-all best primer, but I've been using it for years and it has never steered me wrong. I can use any eyeshadows and I just don't feel like it's a bad primer, so it shouldn't mess up my shadows. So, this is this guy. Also, this beautiful crease color is so powdery, which it doesn't bother me, but I like my palettes to look pretty. That doesn't look pretty. Anyway, um, I did this one on my eye the other day. Beautiful, not as impactful as the green, obviously, but yeah, it just, I don't know. And it's so interesting because when I hold this up, it looks red. But when I look at it in person, it's brown. So it's like a brown copper, but it completely shifts from brown to red. So it's very cool, but it's very low impact. So you put it on and you want it to be really metallic, like super metallic shifty, and it's not. So yeah, that one was also, it was like, oh, this is gonna be a good one. Not so much. Um, am I upset that I bought these? No, because I will use them every now and then, maybe on top of other shadows. But final thoughts, it is so worth investing in a bigger Pat McGrath palette. Uh, this is the bronze, what are you? What are you? What are you? <laughs> the Mothership V Bronze Seduction. This one I love. And can we talk about how clean she looks? I mean, right here. Hello, clean palette. I don't clean my palettes. I use them and I enjoy them, but this one is magical. And this is what palettes should be. Beautiful, user-friendly, very cohesive. Um, I have been looking online to purchase another one of these large palettes. Do I need it? Absolutely not. But I have been doing that because um, the Sephora VIB sale is coming up this coming weekend. So I was like, maybe I'll get another one. But I'm like looking and adding things to my basket. And I really think I need to go back into a Sephora to make sure that I really like the colors in person because online, even online, those Tom Ford shadows were amazing. And I got into the store and I was like, oh, okay. So, and I still put them on. I was like, they're going to be magical. They're Tom Ford. I have some palettes. I love his blushes. I mean, I have a million of his lip glosses and lipsticks and they're great. Um, the palettes that I do have are so pretty and the color scheme of these online were amazing. I came in and they were a lot more dull. So, I don't know. Sorry. I have a cat hair. I think it's stuck in my gloss. This is real life, people. Um, and also, I like that I can take out the big palettes versus, and like take it out, versus being stuck in this thing. So this is more user friendly. So those are really my final thoughts with those guys. Just thought that you guys should know because it's true, the VIB sale is coming. And instead of having to think, oh well, yeah, I'm gonna, get a couple of the $55 small Pat McGrath palettes. It is so worth, so worth just splurging and getting that one big palette. I feel you, cat hair. I'm sorry, I'm gonna use you guys. No, I'm not. I got a little cheapo mirror and it looks like an evil witch's mirror. <laughs> ah, gotcha, sorry. Anyway, um, it is so worth 
splurging and getting that one big palette, especially with a 20% off. So that's my final thoughts. Um, I decided to sleep with braids in my hair last night. Last time I did like Coolio style, like a million braids, and I looked like Diana Ross when I woke up. This time I did two braids and I don't like it. I don't know. It looks like it, it definitely starts right here. It just looks a little stupid. Next time I should have at least like done it right starting here. I don't know. I'm trying to be someone that I'm not, which is someone who does things with their hair. I, I'm someone who has straight hair. Like my hair is just naturally like slightly wavy. This is, this is stupid. I know myself. I'm going to end up probably like doing a ponytail and just like a half ponytail and then just being like, oh, look, it's curly. But oh, no, I just I feel like I look like a poodle. So I am going to get ready for work um, now that I live. Sorry. Sorry. Now that I live. Hi. Hi. <laughs> now that I live further away from work, I have to get up earlier, and that is a motherfucker. I'm not a morning person. I stayed up, actually not too late. My body probably thought it was late, but with the time change and everything, even though I think, I don't know. I don't know how that, that shit works. All I know is I wake up and I get an hour, but I don't know how it goes the other way. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> so... I was up late watching TV, and then of course I was online, and I was adding things to my basket on Sephora, so yes. Oh, and if you're wondering what's on my eyes, as I'm sure you all wonder and care, uh, this is the NARS, the St. Paul de Venice, which is that. I'm like, that's what it looks like. It's this. Um, it is super pretty. It's like a peachy pink. And then this more taupey, it looks taupey brown, but here it's almost reading a little purple. I don't know. I love it. This is obviously the older packaging. Now the pans are a little bit smaller and you can take them out and put them in like a Z palette, which I think is so funny because I do have a bunch of Z palettes for when I do private gigs, but otherwise people don't really use Z palettes like that, but... All right, um, so that is my video. Have a great day and please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when Joanna looks like a poodle and she makes a video when she looks like a poodle. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.